Not so fast. There we go. And he nails the finish. Spider Man does it again. That's the first time in either of these games that I've actually successfully caught the car. That's, I'm impressed at that. That's pretty cool. I'm sure this is nothing to be concerned about at all. Oh, and it's back here again. Yeah. What the hell was that? Whoa. <laughs> that was... <laughs> wow. Good job. We are on track to try and find the Death Star. Grand Moktarkin will be outraged. Someone has stolen precious data from inside the Grand Moffis. <laughs> <laughs> the Grand Moffis. I love it. There we go. Oop. I love that the Jeeps are self-correcting when they flip over. Bobby, thank you so much for the follow, man. I appreciate that. Oh, there's more than one of them. <laughs> I think he, one of them just took a flying leap off that tower. <laughs> so the captain really just uh, is basically in charge of the lights then is what I'm gathering. Oh, and look at this. I'm coming up right on a shrine. That's really handy. Ah, oh my... <laughs> wow. Ferengi pack-led. My god. Seriously? You can be pack-led? Rigelian... Sarian, Tellarite, Trill, Vulcan, and Alien. Wait, what? Alien, as opposed to... Oh my god, it's GLaDOS. On a scale of one to six? I'd say I'm setting it up. Strong six. I guess we both know what's going to happen next. Delamine misses you. Here to shut you down. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Oh my god, it is GLaDOS. Really appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. I have a surprise. 
surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise, so I'll just give you a hint. What the fuck? I'm going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. <laughs> oh my god! Wound. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. <laughs> oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Mm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. <laughs> What is wrong with this blasted thing? A blank? There better be a second round in here. Otherwise, it'll be plan B for you, I'm afraid. Ha! Ah, that's got it. Here we go. <laughs> ha! Golden duck. Cracking job. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Oh my god. Yeah, now that's <laughs> music. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'm Isaac Clement. Together, we'll create the most spectacular dinosaur park imaginable. And hopefully not die in the process. <laughs> really, I don't want to die. Hi. Nope, too fast. Darn. <laughs> oh, look at this. Okay, here's your Jeffrey's tubes. That's hilarious. I love it. Because we are going to have to go for the silly death, obviously. Open machine. Climb in machine. Well, Roger, it certainly appears as though you're about to become all washed up. <laughs> Wait, what? Open machine? Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, 
what in the world? This is why you gotta be very careful tossing pebbles into wells. You might accidentally create a volcano. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Uh... <laughs> um... Good evening, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. Tonight we're going to be doing a little bit more Skyrim. How's everybody doing, Anstara? It's good to see you. I hope everyone is well this evening. What is it today? Saturday, right? Spooky Saturday Skyrim. So, uh, let me just get in here. Hang on a second. There we go. I don't have the game running yet. I only have Vortex. So let's see if this is actually going to work first. Because last time when I did the anniversary stream, I had to set up OBS to specifically capture Skyrim. I'm hoping it's going to work better tonight. Playing Skyrim yourself. Excellent. Maybe that means fewer cheese wheels. <laughs> Actually, with you, it was more the mud crabs, wasn't it? I'm a little afraid to look at how many points people have. Greeny was the cheese, yes. Which I will never understand, but okay. That's fair. Let's see, I, 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 I don't even want to know how many points you have left over. Okay, I was worried, but it looks like the game is going. It's loading, and it's actually displaying, so I'm happy about that. Well, yeah, but it's not just greeny. Cheese and Skyrim is this whole thing, and I've never really gotten it. Uh, okay. One small problem here. Oh, never mind. Okay, I thought we had no audio, but my volume has just turned way down. Uh, where are you getting 2k mods from? <laughs> I don't have anywhere close to that many mods. Hang on just a second here. Let me adjust my volume. People have made videos of them spawning or dropping 10,000 cheese wheels off cliffs or filling houses. Yes, but why cheese? Books are the obvious thing that you would want to go with. I don't understand the fascination with cheese and Skyrim. Okay, that's better. I can hear now. Oh, right. The housewarming cow. Okay, so we just got this place. Oh, no. No, uh, 2,573 is the current number of the stream. Meaning that this is stream number 2,573 meaning I have streamed 2,572 times before this. Cheese is inherently funny. It's a funny word. Well, I mean, okay. That, that's hard to argue, honestly. It's an approximation, Lord Caillou. By the way, welcome on in. It's nice to have you here. Uh, I don't know if it's literally 2,572 times before this. But 
Uh, that's the best estimate I was able to make when I actually went back and calculated how many times I had streamed a couple of years ago. I used a couple of different methods. Uh, what's going on? Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what that was, but all right. I used a couple of different methods to estimate how many streams I had done, and they both came back to a really close, you know, a very similar response. So I'm reasonably confident that it's accurate, or at the very least, extremely close to the truth. All right, so what were we doing? I guess last time on the anniversary stream, we were really just working towards acquiring a house, and now that I've got a house, I should probably spare you guys the pain of going back to Golden Hills Plantation, getting all my stuff and lugging it slowly all the way here, unless you really want to do that, because that would be ample time for crowd control crap, uh, during which, oh god, that would be such a pain if I actually died, though. I can't imagine all the loot recovery that would require. So no, I'm going to do that off stream, I think. Um, let's take a look at our journal here. What have we got? He might be off by a dozen or so, but who cares? Yeah, it, it, it would be in the range of, you know, maybe 10 or 20 off, not 500 or anything like that. So it's very, very close. Miscellaneous. Retrace. Oh, right. We still have some of this stuff to do. Let's maybe try to take out some of my... Um, some of my... What are they called? Nemeses. Oh, where'd the game go? I had to clear something from one of my windows. I'm such a pro streamer. Okay, we're not doing the Meridia Beacon thing yet. Drinking contest. Dwarven mechanical dragon. What's the worst that can happen? We'll do that one. So, if I remember correctly, the dwarven mechanical dragon was out in the Riften type area. I'm so glad that we're traveling. So I think it sounds like we've got our little sort of personal army handy. That'll make taking out the dragon a little bit easier. Probably not a lot easier. I've gained a few levels since then. Uh, we've picked up Uthgird again. She was missing last time we encountered it. So I'm sure this will go perfectly well. There's no chance, basically, that I'm going to die horribly again. You know, if you don't want to get burned, you should you probably wear dangerous. something for the battles. What the heck? Why are all these skeletons here? This is you guys. Ah, uh, yes. Roll bone spirit. Oh my god. <laughs> you just delete us, thank you. So, I think I'm being abandoned by my companions here. We're just waiting. I'm using the Shadow of Skyrim mod, so technically speaking, I'm immortal. The fate of my current incarnation really depends on how my companions do here. If one of them has the... nope, okay. 
One of them might have had the opportunity to revive me, in which case we could have just continued on and it would have been great. But they weren't able to revive me in time, and so I've kind of retreated or been captured or something weird has happened, and we'll find out what in just a moment. It cost me 200 to... Yeah, actually, that's a good point, Ansara. That's the default number. You might have noticed that I've decreased a number of the spawn costs. For example, dragons last time, like on Tuesday, I think I had them set to cost 1,500 points to summon. I've dropped that significantly. Not all the way back down to the default of 150, but they're a lot less than, you know, I, I think they're like maybe double that, like 300 or something like that. So, not as expensive. Disoriented, I attempt to stand up and regain my balance as quickly as possible. I've heard rumors about my nemesis, Marasar the Sadistic. The famed armor he wears is magically barbed and bloodied from his victims. So, he's inflicted a fear of Mare debuff, and I lost my giant stomp ability, which I don't think I ever used, so that's fine. Now, where are we? I thought I heard footsteps. And suddenly, dungeon. Uh oh, sorry, Upgrid. That was really no match at all. What? Dungeon is this? What the heck? Why don't you crawl that little egg? Ow. Uh. Oh, sorry, Vilja. What's wrong this with you? What? Huh? I'm not an enemy, you know. Is this some kind of boss? Why is she not dead? Oh. Well, that would explain why I can't kill her. Uh, sorry. My bad, I'll be on my way. What is? what is this? There's a cave here. Perfect hideout for bandits, or worse. You would think. I certainly did. Okay, what the heck is this? Boulder Field Cave. Where is this one? The name doesn't even look to... Oh. On the plus side, it looks like we just saved ourselves a whole hell of a lot of travel time. Because we were meaning to go back to... Where is it? It's just up here where we met the mechanical dragon. They saved you and nursed you back to health, and that's how you thank them. Well, they should have told me. Instead of just, you know, looking like a bunch of bandits inside a freaking cave hideout. Like, hey... So you're waking up there, just be advised we rescued you and we're nursing you back to health. We're not preparing you for some kind of terrible necromantic rite of bloodletting. Just so you're aware. A little bit of a heads up. Well, yeah, that's why I started attacking Anstara. There we go. Yes, you leave 
And I don't care if I never see one again. Apprentice Ice Mage. Track down the mechanical. Oh, hello. Be with you in just a moment. Magica. any of that yet i am running ordinator by the way so if these patterns and names of skill perks don't look familiar that would be why all destruction spells and scrolls are one percent more powerful per level of sneak if the target is not detecting oh you know what i grabbed that one I spell cast out of stealth all the frickin' time. That was tough. Okay, we've got Vilja, Vilja and we've got Uthgird. I... I don't see Lydia around. What the heck happened to her? Architect Origins, welcome on back. Is this a Wabajack mod pack? It is not a mod pack. Anybody who's played modded has played Ordinator or... I don't know the other one. Ordinator is pretty much a standard in my mod list. So I don't know my entire mod list and it changes so frequently. I, in fact, I installed a brand new mod at my community's recommendation just before I started stream today. Uh, so it's really difficult to maintain a proper mod list, but I can give you the highlights. I've got a locate, lot of location-based mods this time around, which I've never really done before. So things that add new locations, uh, including, what's the big one called that everybody loves so much? the location in Cyrodiil from, what is it, Bremen or something? I don't remember. But I've got it, even if I don't know what it's called. I always use Apocalypse Magic. I've also got another magic mod that I'm not as familiar with, and so I don't really remember the name offhand. Basically, I, I've got a whole lot of mods installed, and they're really cool, but I don't remember what most of them actually are. Oh, my footsteps don't sound like I'm wearing much, does it? Oh, jeez. Okay, what have I got? I died on the way here, so I'm going to be poorly equipped. Yeah, okay. This is going to be fun. <clears throat> Bruma, that's the one. I have a lot of aesthetic mods, especially because, I mean, Skyrim doesn't really, you would think it would, but it doesn't really lend itself to Halloween spookiness all that well. At least that's been my experience so far, but I've done the best I can to at least give it more of a spooky kind of feeling. So I've got the Grim ENB. Uh oh. Oh! You're not the dragon I'm looking for, buddy. I don't know that this is going to go terribly well.
You keep saying that, Uthgird, but you're not really doing much to it. I'm gonna put you down. Oh, this is not good. Ugh. I don't think I've had one do a dive bite on me like that before. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I remembered, but man, it's... It still managed to catch me by surprise to just see it plow into the ground like that. I, For some reason, I don't see that that often. Usually I see them land and they're trying to eat my face on the ground. And only later do I actually kill them. I mean, I have seen them face plant like that before, just not very often. Okay. Well, that was a pretty good warm up for the dragon that I actually wanted to kill. Which was that away. Oh, we haven't even gotten to the right mountain yet. I'm used to them crashing because my whole goal is to get them on the ground since you melee a lot. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't worry about meleeing them too terribly much. Since I can usually attack from range just as effectively or more effectively than I can from close range. Usually when things get to close range, it means I've done something terribly wrong and I'm going to die. It occurs to me that this is a real good time to quick save before I end up crashing to the ground or falling through the map. Damn it. Oh, that's right. My guys can still save me. Come on. Do it. 
Re res me. Or not res me, but, you know, help me up. It's only one Spriggan. You guys can do it. Leave her alone. No. Can I? No, I can't look around. It's one Spriggan. Sure. Uh. Leave her alone. Well, I guess it's a good thing that I didn't really have most of my equipment on me. <laughs> now watch, we're going to be in Markarth or something. Okay, looking before I attack this time. Adrenaline is pumping through my veins. Something tells me that I'm not out of danger yet. I hate to admit that the afflicted Spriggan gave me a good thrashing, but it only happened because it caught me off guard. Totally caught me off guard. That's definitely what it was. Debuff inflicted shield shattered. Uh. Let's see if you can find Okay, this guy, legitimate bad guy. You are Uh oh. Look over there. That's a bandit. Oh, wait. Sorry, Edgar. I thought you were... Oh. Too late. Yet another mystery cave. We get to see so many caves this way, though, I gotta say. See what more there is to find here. This is kind of starting to look a little familiar. We're not in the Ratways under Riften, are we? I sense a presence. Death comes for you now. Hmm. Time to end so Okay, I don't remember that many ghosts in the Rift and Ratway, so I'm thinking maybe not. Come on. Fine. Oh. Oh. 
Ugh, I didn't want to sit down. Just want to loot everything. Do you know the name of this cave? Not sure I want to call it a cave anymore. It's not a bad little setup, though. It's got a complete smithy by the looks of it. What makes this smell? Don't ask. You might learn it. Fine moonstone, not bad. I'm gonna guess it's all the cheese and raw meat just sitting on shelves. Well, we don't know what temperature is in here. It might be pretty cool. Natural refrigeration. This does give every appearance of being underground, after all. I don't know. Yes, don't. No one hides from the dead. You leave her alone. There we go. Now we're back to my natural movement, right? Uthgird. I'm still here. Good. What do you need to take? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take stuff from you. That's right. Let's go. Fortify destruction. We have some neat potions in here. I think that's the wrong way. Although, I gotta say, this really looks like it should be a secret door. Forgotten Retreat. We were probably almost to the end. Could we just go finish that? Kind of a shame to clear out so much of it and not actually complete it.
the heck? Where did we come from? We started up here, didn't we? Or did we? Were we downstairs? Very disoriented. Oh! Hang on. Right, oh, oh, jeez. Disoriented and unable to see, apparently. So bandits and ghosts cohabitating in one underground structure. I'm sure that's not a bad sign at all. There we go. Bell Tome Fury. I think that's one I don't have yet. Wait, what? Rude. Get him.
You'll Why do you keep... Oh, there we go. Gods, no! There we are. Winters, how are you doing? Also, what the heck? How did you redeem a hundred crowd control coins? I was certain I disabled that. Or is that not from channel points? Boy, do I hate Balmer. I haven't run into them yet in this playthrough. I'm not complaining either. I'm sure the day will come. They are, are they? Thank you for letting me know. Allow me to fix that. That was certainly not intentional. Okay, you have the honor of having gotten the very last channel point redeem ever, Winters. Enjoy those coins. They're the last you will get without bits. Or for just being free. Now ain't this a surprise. Time to finish this. Enough. Son of a you leave her alone. And I don't care if I'll never see one again. Someone there? Okay, let's go, Magica. I do enough lock picking that I should probably get some of this stuff. Can't just be mean. <laughs> Not that I won't redeem with bits, just saying. Well, I would have a much easier time dealing with that level of chaos if it came with bits than just hours of sustained insanity. Get him. That's your best, huh? Give up while you still got nothing. See? For a one hit point illusionary being, Pale Shadow's not bad at all. He's done a fair amount of damage to the chief there. Good 
Good job, guys. I gave you some random buff, but I think it went... Oh, God. <laughs> wow, that one actually did quite a bit of damage. Thank you, Winters. Greeny would be proud. I gave you some random buff, but I think it went unnoticed. It was in a fight. I'm not even sure what it was. Well, I appreciate whatever it was, Anstara. But isn't Hours of Sustained Insanity the motto of this channel? Hey, Jim, how's it going? It's good to see you. And I do believe you might actually be correct about that. Jeez, yes. I caught up on what I missed on that night. Yeah, it was nuts. It was a little much, but it was really fun. I'm looking forward to crowd control updating for Rim World. Wait. Okay, I get it. It looped around. Um, yeah, I, I'm. Uh, I'm looking forward to crowd control updating for Rim World. 1.4 and the new update, the new uh, expansion. That's going to be a lot of fun. You're trying to restrain yourself a bit tonight. <laughs> Forgotten retreat discovered. So where are we? Oh, well, we're even closer to Riften, although we're a little further away now from where we were. We were over here, but we were pretty close. Now we have to go way the heck over there. That's okay. Now I'm gonna get you. What? Oh. Leave a friend alone, bastard. Now I'm gonna get you. I am Watch you down. Help. 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 You leave her alone. A lot of food on this one. Hey, Vikings, how's it going? Circle of life, wheel of cheese, wow. Just playing Pathfinder. What is Pathfinder 2? Oh, you mean the actual tabletop Pathfinder 2. Like, uh, like second edition. I will now get back to my usual thing. Unexpected cow, except you will now expect it. So I guess I ruined that. You will be happy to know, Winters, that the housewarming cows are still in the new house. Oh, ow. You leave her alone. Surprise snow cat to the face. Damn it. Uh, Uthgird, can you carry a little more? Actually, I have to take a break. I'll give Uthgird some more stuff as soon as I get back. So if you guys uh, don't mind... 
I need to get up and move around a little bit. So if you need to grab some stuff, maybe some food, get a drink, whatever you need to do, this is a really good opportunity to do it. And I'll meet you back here in just a few. So let me just get rid of the sound here. There you go. The trick is to drop unexpected cow in front of him when he's stealthily lining up a fireball shot and hope it appears right in front of him. Oh man, at Star Up. Ugh. Okay, I'll be back in a few. That didn't work so well. Think you got him? Good luck, Uthkurt. <laughs> um. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, that's no, no, Uthgird, no. Nominal. Oh, and look at this, I'm coming up right on a shrine. That's really Andy. Ah, oh my... <laughs> wow. And that blew the surprise. Now the raiders know I'm here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, and I'm saved up here too. Push power button. Push auto nav button. Pull throttle <laughs> please buckle your seat belt first buckle seat belt done pull throttle your door is a jar no my door is a door close pod door done pull uh oh <laughs> I was literally typing it Gosh, Roger, it would appear you have met an untimely demise. With the explosive destruction of the Arcata, you become part of a fresh collection of space debris. There we go. Oop. I love that the Jeeps are self-correcting when they flip over. There we go. Oh. There now we there we go. I'm getting a credit. Oh whoa! Well that happened. Nice. One less machine. That's a handy cloak. Too late. Oh, whoa. Oh, crap. Ugh. Let me guess. You escaped with only a flesh wound. This is a bit of a problem. It's not likely to explode very satisfactorily. So I don't think we have any choice. Oh. Never mind. Uh Piper. 
Are you okay? What the heck? Um... Okay, I'm back. Uh, oh. <laughs> Thank you, Let's Q. It's good to see you, by the way, Q. How are you doing tonight? What do you need to take? I probably need to hand over some of the food. Lead on then. Okay, where are we going? Mjol is quite nice, but she does talk a lot, doesn't she? With her around, I hardly get a chance to say a word. <laughs> Oop, hang on. The chat scrolled on me. There we go. Thank you, AMZ. How are you doing, AMZ? It's good to see you. Thank you, Instara. Thank you, Winters. You will be happy to know, AMZ, that you are not quite dead in RimWorld. We did have an incident involving a Dimetrodon after you left. Now the entire colony is awfully close to being dead, but nobody actually died. Never should have come here. Ah! <laughs> we are a good team. Don't you think so? Phew, that was tough. Oh. They're a little protective of their uh, brewery over here. Not quite, no. no uh, things got a little bit rough later on in the evening, AMC. Nobody died, but right at the very end, there was a Dimetrodon attack. It nearly killed JH, and then it nearly killed... Was it Unstara? I think Unstara was the other one who nearly bit it. It got kind of dicey. But we pulled through. And then, hilariously, while you were both in traction, we decided to have our wedding. <laughs> yeah, the fourth person was JH, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. The gray-skinned dude with all the, uh, you know, the pollution resistances. Lost Prospect Mine? This is supposed to be a gold mine, isn't it? Only that there is no gold inside it, of course. Lost Prospect Mine discovered. Oh, of course it's down there. I don't intend to actually do the mine. We're on track to try and murder the dragon, but it's a good way to conveniently teleport my companions down here with me. Although I am still very curious what happened to Lydia. She should still be with us.
No, I don't think so on Star. She still levels with me. I know. We had a bot last night, too. I can't remember the last time I had to deal with bots. Now, all of a sudden, two in as many days? I almost feel honored at their return. Almost. I have a bot alert. Oh boy. Stone cave discovered. I feel bad for people so desperate or naive as to think buying followers will make them famous. There actually are some limited circumstances in which buying followers can be advantageous, but I'm not sure that any of them apply to typical streamers, so it's weird to me that bots are so popular and prevalent. You know, mostly it would be under circumstances like you're trying to negotiate a deal with uh, TV or media people who legitimately see numbers as the only metrics worth considering. It can be worthwhile, financially speaking, under those circumstances, but for any kind of actual meaningful engagement, it's not never going to work out for you. see if I can find something more challenging between here and the dragon that we're going to attack. Who are you? Ah, Vigilant of Stendar. I have no particular quarrel with them. I'm skyrimming up. Ow! You leave her alone. We did well, don't you think so? How do I get up there? Champion's Rest discovered.
Okay, I don't think that's happening. Excuse me. Vigilance report. Vile, oh, vile whispers. Why does that sound familiar? Investigate into the reports of a dark presence within Champion's Rest. Champion's Rest is the site of an ancient battle arena where Nords would test their metal in gladiatorial combat. Long believed to be lost to time, it was recently uncovered by mining prospectors near Shore's Stone after discovering a new deposit of silver. On discovery, the miners say they witnessed a ghost clad head to toe in armor. While this alone was cause for concern, what they said next was even more troubling. The spirit wielded a massive blade which seemed to whisper to them in their minds. This hints at the workings of a powerful Daedric artifact. The only relic that matches this description is Umbra, once believed to be lost or by some accounts destroyed. Umbra is a sentient weapon who corrupts its bearer and compels them to kill so that the blade may feast on the souls of those it slays. It appears to have resurfaced here, though I cannot say why. If the apparition that haunts this site truly is the resurgence of Umbra, then it has grown very powerful and Shore's stone is in grave danger. We may have done this during the last playthrough. It sounds vaguely familiar. We're not doing it now. But I think we've done it before. Okay, looks like it's too soon to be trying to go up. We'll just carry on. Mythic Dawn Guard? Scar Cavern. Oh, a large knapsack. Three ten of three forty five. Damn it. Okay. I'm still here. What do you need to take? Oh. Well, we give you stuff. Oh, she's just about done. <laughs> well, Let's that's go. enough. No, that was enough. We're going to have to empty her inventory soon. Who are the Mythic Dawn? I assume they're not related to the regular Dawn Guard. Also, I apologize because I'm fairly certain it's already been explained to me in our previous playthrough what the Mythic Dawn are. But I haven't the faintest, foggiest idea. Because I have no memory.
Mythic Dawn were the primary antagonists of Oblivion. They're not supposed to exist since the last 200 years. Well, clearly, they had a little pocket splinter group that survived up in Skyrim and didn't get the message that they're supposed to disband. Thanks, Mr. Soggy Roman. That clears that up. How are you doing tonight? You leave her alone. Saving here. This looks like it might almost be passable. Then again, I might just be imagining that. Yeah, I'm not so sure I'm going to be able to do that. We are getting close, though. 540 feet or thereabouts. I've uh, been good, Mr. Soggy Roman. Everything went well last night. It's like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Yarrow can hardly eat every deer now, can he? You'd be surprised. He's got quite the appetite. Okay. Let's quick save. The cultist of Maruni's Dagon, the da Daedra Lord of Destruction and Change, who was trying to destroy, well, at least the Empire back in Oblivion and as much as possible else, probably. They're pretty much the opposite of the Dawn Guard, so the name similarity is pretty funny. The Dwemer ruins are very impressive. The entrance to its All manner. Oh. Hello. You leave her alone. We did well. Yes, we did well. Don't you think so? Uh oh. Level twenty. Hey. Back to magic now. Since I'm getting back into using more illusion, let me see. Grants night eye power. At will, grants improved night vision for 120 seconds. Can activate any target under the effect of a comm spell to initiate trade. You radiate an aura of mystical charisma that touches all within 12 meters. Any illusion spell you cast on those affected is 25% more powerful and lasts 30% longer. 
In combat, you radiate an aura of mystical nobility that touches allied creatures and people within 12 meters. Those affected gain 20% extra attack damage and have 20% chance of a critical strike. You know what? That... Yeah. Yeah. Let's... We'll do that. That sounds amazing. Especially when we're on our way to murder a mechanical dragon. That's amazing enough that I'm going to have to quick save that. Finally reinstalling that spider replacing mod for Skyrim Special Edition. Nice. I'm not sure how to get up there. I don't think that's going to work out so good. Looks very much like it might be. No, that's not him. What the hell are you? What? Okay, clearly not a dragon to worry about then. Put up with them, with them for a while at this point, but honestly, they're just really gross. They are. On the other hand, I had a little taste during the 16-hour stream of a sort of spider replacement in the form of that bone horror thing. I'm not sure it was really that much of an improvement, honestly. Cliff Racers... Yeah, I don't think that's getting me where I want to go. It, you are correct. It's a cliff racer. They originate in Morrowind. I think they're added with the Dragonborn DLC. That's really cool. According to the failsafe AI from Destiny 2, it's not murder if it's robots. Does that mean it's not murder if you murder a robot, or it's not murder if a robot does the murdering? Okay, I don't think we're going any further. Well, that's a very disappointing end, or at least, you know, temporary end to our dragon hunt but it doesn't appear to be home at the moment. I'm gonna have to find something else to track down. There's some mention of them being exported so as not to die out from the volcano covering everything in ash. Oh, that's nice. Uh, so it's not murder if you murder a robot, okay.
return to where you were last defeated in White River Watch. We will go there. Where is White River March? Oh. This is a significant distance away by the looks of it. Spriggan who almost killed you. Okay, we're going to take revenge on that freaking Spriggan. That's our next goal. Troll. You leave her alone. Sorry, Vilya. You look cold in that lack of outfit. Hey, Greeny, how's it going? You got all 24 stones of Baron Zaya. I don't think I've ever gotten more than maybe five. Uh, Vilya, do you have space? I'm so glad I touch. Sure. As you wish. How are you doing tonight, Greeny? Talk later. Hundreds of gems out of it on in your old rim run. Nice. I'm glad to hear that. There's a cave here. Perfect hideout for bandits, or off. worse. Who, what, where, why? Oh, it's you. You're hostile. Sorry, guys. I'm on your side. Damn it. That's the best you can do, sir. Now I'm gonna get you. you. Stop worrying about me and start killing her. Oh, damn it. Okay. That's yet another piece of revenge we have to take. Oh, we're way more than double now. We have so many nemeses we have to get rid of. I'm bummed we didn't get to take out the dragon. Weakened, I stumble into an unfamiliar area. Something moves in the corner of my vision and my heart starts to race. I shouldn't linger here. Valsiren, the soothsayer, sits smugly in Enselvund while I lie here humiliated. My blood boils at the thought. Debuff inflicted, off balance. Well, 
that far away. Okay, yes, we are. Look at that. Ugh. I have so much revenge to get. down. You missed the cheese? What cheese? I don't see any cheese. What false promises of cheese are these? We did a cheese explosion. I definitely missed that then. Yep, timing is everything with cheese explosions, if you want me to actually notice and or grab it. Wait a minute. Wait just a second. Robber's Gorge? We're here? I thought we were... Oh, God. I misread my map. Something fierce. Thanks, Green. <laughs> Stop dodging. Uh, uh. Damn it, Uthgird. That's probably very true, Granny. I would expect nothing less than that. You leave her alone. I have seen models before, and I don't see them. They can never see them. Where's my shadow? Oh, there he is. Some men 
and NCS don't know when it's time to give up. Only taking one cheese? I only saw one cheese, Greeny. I make no promises that I will pick up any or all cheese that is exploded. For one thing, I struggle enough with carry weight as it is. For another, I do not understand the Skyrim fascination with cheese. Never have. Damn it! That's up to you guys. Murder. Destroy. You don't scare me. No, that's definitely true. I've never done Shivering Isles. Hey, they did it. They saved me. Warhammer of Embers. Okay, well, we are nowhere near where I thought we were. I thought we were still east of Whiterun. What was that? I could have sworn I heard something right behind us. Probably just the cheese. Hey, I didn't lose my backpack this time. That's a plus. Well, I still maintain that books are far better than cheese ever will be. So, there's that. I understood, Grinny. I am fluent in uh -oh. typo. Oh, they already did it. Oh, he's on my side. Okay. Me to summon something too. It doesn't need to be anything impressive. If book explosion was an option, I'd be very happy. You mad? Can you imagine how quickly I could fill up my collection of books? We've hardly done any of that in this playthrough. Well, okay, that's that's a lie. I've actually gotten quite a few books in this playthrough. Get him. Ow. Bad news, I'm overburdened again. Good news, I'm getting out. Hey, what's 
We are very, very, very close to Golden Hills Plantation. So I can just drop lots of crap off. Uh oh. Look over there. That's a bandit. I'm not afraid of you. Teach you the mess with me. Sneak 59. Not bad. Explosion would be an option in the Dragonborn DLC. Hermaeus Mora has an abyssal library. Yep. <coughs> Imagine the damage from having a bunch of those black books dropped on you. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Good, I'm not carrying enough as it is. Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Looks like that's it. Got to go. So, that was for my hands only? Why is that so important? So many paper cuts, oh my god. You're not wrong. That would be actually kind of terrible. see better now. Also, I kind of love that they recorded dialogue for that. Where the heck are you off to, sir? actually is a reason that the museum owner would want you to get that flyer personally. I've done the museum thing before. I don't remember what that reason would be, but I do believe you now that you bring it up. That does ring a bell. Okay, you know what? Billia. I'm so glad that we're sure. I can't walk As this slowly while I have the option of actually taking care of the problem. silver mold. Oh, right, I forgot about the dragon bones. I can give Vilia Meridia's beacon, right? I'm sure that won't be a problem. Meridia won't mind. Anytime. That's better. So I suppose it's less personal and more I need a skilled adventurer. That makes sense. Yeah, it was accidental, Greeny. I just grabbed all the contents of a chest without looking, and of course... 
another hand has touched the beacon. You really gotta watch where you put your hands in this game. I forgot. Now I'm gonna get you. Get him. Alright, ladies. Cough it up. It's so nice to just talk a little, you and I. I was just... If you say so. Sure. As you wish. Holy crap, she can carry a metric ton. Or two. And that's only in the one bag. She has another bag. Shall we continue? Let's get going. What do you need to take? I get that it's annoying, but it's not a bad quest. Oh, I know. The, the quest itself is good. It's just... I guess it's my personal... Preston Garvey. Only slightly more, well, maybe not more justified, but it feels more justified, even if it really isn't. I assume I have three winters to thank for this. Let's get going. What about an Imperial ton? Normally, I would not condone the use of Imperial tons, but for Skyrim specifically, I guess maybe it's okay. Hey, Sketchy, how's it going? I don't believe so, Sketchy. Or if you did, you got lost in the shuffle. Okay. 
Okay, now I can take what I actually need. Is not weaponry. Um, looks good. Oh, shoulder pad. Novice hood. Romance or robes. Not my favorite, but they'll do. do. There we go. Backwood storm cloaks don't use imperial measurements. Probably use some SI units or something like that. Now, if they're storm cloaks, uh -oh. I'm sure it's. You will make a lovely pill. <laughs> okay. I didn't think the silver hand were automatically hostile, are they? What the heck? You know, did you hear that? Leather backpack, I like that. Silver sword. They're essentially bandits, but with delusions of being anti werewolf vigilantes. Why are they fighting me? I'm not a freaking werewolf. I guess that's the bandit part. I'm reasonably certain I'm not a werewolf. The only way to be sure is kill you and take your stuff. Okay, fine. Reasonable. Alright, guys. It's about time for me to take another break. So if you guys need to get up, 
grab some food, get a drink, get a snack, whatever you need to do. This is a really good opportunity to do it, and I'll meet you back here in a few minutes. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. It said, don't touch. I warned you. <laughs> Ken, did you hear something? For those of you not aware, this is the castle of Daventry from King's Quest. It was probably just the Gators entertaining another Space Quest player. Go back to sleep, Berta. Through a strange quirk of fate, or was it, you have stumbled into a place beyond time, space, and dimension. You have entered the Daventry Zone. That's right, the land of King's Quest. This will not help you now since you are playing Space Quest. You don't see that every day. I think that cow is walking on the ceiling. It must be part spider. <laughs> that worked better than I thought. He's got so much reach. Holy crap. <laughs> that was the best. I have to leave him here. He's going to get shot to death if I don't. Crap, he has a bad motivator. Instead, I'm gonna phrase it as a call to action. No, we're not going there. Oh! I guess we're going there. And the underground moves right in. Mara! Oh my god! <laughs> uh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh my god, what have I done? Oh god, the donkey. Oh jeez. Oh, this is a disaster. I wanted to take out the billboard. That was not quite how I saw myself doing it. <laughs> okay, I'm back.
Thank you, Winters Vikings, Vera Johnson, and Stara. Hey, Vera Johnson, how's it going? It's good to see you. I'm really happy that one of the new Skyrim clips made it into the show tonight. So how's everyone's weekend been so far? I haven't been up to too much. It was a little bit disrupted today because of everything going on last night. Oh, what the heck. Now I'm gonna get you. You think you can beat me? Go ahead! Just a planned power outage, uh, Vikings. So I had to end stream early and get everything shut down safely and get some stuff done. And then I lost power for a good five hours. Doing good. Hoping Persona 5 Royal goes on same sale on Steam in the winter sale since it literally came out a few days ago. Yeah, honestly, I would not mind having Persona 5 on both PC and the Switch, but it's going to have to get a lot cheaper before that happens. I hear the Switch switchboard is really, really good. That and No Man's Sky. I'm very curious about No Man's Sky on the Switch, honestly. Well, true, Vikings, but on the plus side... It's Did worse when it's not down. planned. <laughs> At least I was able to actually prepare for it. Now I'm gonna get you. I've been thinking about getting a Steam Deck, but I think I will only use it a couple of times. From what I hear, they're actually pretty good. I don't know if they're good enough to justify the price, though. And I certainly don't know that I would necessarily get the first generation of the hardware. Did you hear that noise? Okay, so that was not actually a hostile giant. Thought it was. Yeah, when they come out with a Steam Deck version 2 with improved hardware and, you know, any issues present in the first one are resolved. That'll be a whole lot more tempting, I think. Now I'm gonna get you. Just a ha -ha. We are a good team, don't you think so?
What's the advantage of OLED? Is that make? Make? Are you around lying again? Better colors, deeper blacks. Now, is it a thing that you really basically are intended to use the screen all that much? Because I gotta tell you, I've probably used the screen on my actual Switch maybe five or ten times at the absolute most since I got it several years ago. 99% of the time, if I'm playing something on the Switch, I'm playing it through a connection to a display or, you know, well, basically, a display means through my capture card and so on my PC. So it really doesn't matter what the screen is for me. But then I know I'm also kind of unusual. A lot of people actually do use it with the whole... Uh, you know, the, the mobile capability and all that. You can dock it to your TV or monitor, but kind of defeats the purpose of a mobile. Well, if mobile is the reason that you get it, then sure. I would not be getting it for the mobile capabilities, though. I would be getting it, if I were to get it, specifically as a very cheap second game playing PC that I could use in a sort of dual PC setup. The idea of getting a device so I can be li a lazy bum lying on the couch. Mm. There, I suppose. Probably a case where I just have a very different set of priorities than most people getting the hardware would. What the heck is going on with those lights? Is that... Is that the Jarl's Palace? Yeah, I guess it is. Now, do we have any business in there at the moment? I don't think we do. Make. Oh, hi. Die. These guys are gutsy operating this close to White Run. You can build an equivalent for cheaper than the Steam Deck. The processor is currently on a huge sale. Yeah, but then you have to go and you have to build it. If I'm going to put together a computer, and I am, I'm still gathering components to build the new gaming PC. I'm going to do it as a you know, significantly better unit than the Steam Deck. Well, it is too. It's just, if I were going to do that, and I am, it's not going to be at the power level of a Steam Deck. It's going to be a lot more than that. That's the only thing. Oh, this is one of my nemeses. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Another one down. Did we get him? Oh, they got him. 
Fear of Mur debuff removed. I have to watch that. I gotta try and make sure I'm the one that actually kills these guys. Oh, and he had a lot of my stuff. That's hilarious. Including my Ring of Minor Sneaking. Damn it, and Stara, how dare you. I didn't know the Forgotten City mod is just a seven-hour detective game. You hate detective games. I have never tried the Forgotten City mod, Exiled King. I actually really like detective games, though, so maybe I should give that a shot. Also, uh, it's such a popular mod that they actually turned it into a proper standalone game all on its own without any need of Skyrim. And I have been meaning to check that out. I, d I can't decide whether I should play the mod first or go for the game. But I can see how that might be a little bit disappointing if you're not a fan of the genre. Oh my god. Damn it, and Stara! Ah, uh, oh, Jesus. Make a little help here. said nemesis i did on the plus side level up okay i think i'd probably better put some more in destruction again harsh lesson destruction projectile spells interrupt targets that are casting a spell does not work on massive targets fire spells reduce the fire resistance of their targets by 20 percent Conflagration. Fire spells ignite the ground underneath their targets for 30 seconds. The burning ground deals 8 points of damage per second for 3 seconds on contact. Yeah, I'm helping. The Forgotten City is cool, no doubt. The concept and story are interesting, but I'd have to watch a playthrough. That's fair. That actually does remind me. This playthrough, I do intend to go through a lot of, like, location mods. We've already checked one or two out so far that I've got installed. Uh, that would probably be a good one to add in. And by the way, Greeny, if you're still around, I don't know if maybe you took off to do something else uh, for a little bit, but if you are still here, I did post in the Discord, I replied to you. That was a really interesting mod suggestion, the one that turns Labyrinthian into a whole mage's city, and I have added that. So at some point, we will make our way there, probably as part of the Mage's Guild questline, and uh, we'll do that. So, thank you for the suggestion. That looks cool. Okay. Uthgird leveling, Lydia leveling. I still don't know what happened to Lydia. Not gonna worry too much about looting all these mud crabs, even though I'm gonna get overloaded. <laughs> like that, because we can just literally go across the river to my house. And I'll drop crap off. Uh oh. Oh, Who damn it. Damn it. Let's see you put up a fight. You are as good as dead. Don't kill her. Don't kill her. Please. Please.
They did it. Vilya helps you to your feet. <laughs> Thank you, Anstara. You guys are having far too much fun with this. So what can you make out of mud crab chitin? Because I'm going to have to learn some type of crafting just to make use of it all. I think very happy if the feud between her family and the Greymans would come to an end. Here in Whiterun, it's easy to forget about the harsh living conditions in the northern parts of Skyrim. Wasn't me. I didn't do it. An alchemical reagent. Ninety-five? Holy crap. Resist disease. Okay. Uh, did they... Oh, yeah, <laughs> you're correct. They weigh four pounds apiece. So that's like 500 pounds or close to just because of that. <laughs> I can't see what's wrong with being a milk drinker. My mom always says that you get strong, healthy teeth from drinking milk. I thought at first that was a reflection off the water, but the more I'd look at it, I think that's a flame lurker or something similar. Maybe a flame atronach. Flame overlord. Well. seems angry. I'm sure this is fine. Burdened with triumph. not working so good. Some enemies just don't know when it's time 
time to give up. Now he's gonna explode, right? I'm just disappointed. I love delving into dwarven ruins, but it is normal story that happens to take place in a dwarven city. I'm sorry to hear you're so disappointed. You're actually selling me on it really strongly, though. I also love dwarven ruins. But normal story, that's just like the sort of the icing on the cake. It, that makes it sound amazing to me. Hey, Jessica, how's it Have going? It's really freckles. good to see you. I hate freckles. Freckles are awesome. What are you talking about, Vilya? <clears throat> you were expecting puzzles and mystery? Well, if it's a detective story, isn't mystery part of that? Or is it a different sort of thing? I actually get really kind of put off by puzzles. Sometimes they can be fun. Too many of them gets to be just really obnoxious. But a lot of it also goes into expectation. I also really like point-and-click adventure games, which are basically long sequences of puzzles. So go figure. I'm going well, just lurking. I saw the sneak increased and decided to use the peak. Nice. It's good to see you as always, Jessica, but enjoy your lurk. I appreciate and support my lurkers. We're not at level up yet, are we? No, we still have a bit to go. Lunar Dragon? Oh boy. Hello. Couldn't have waited two seconds? I was just about to put away all my crap. I'm thinking a different kind of mystery, like ghost mystery, not detective mystery. Well, okay, I don't really distinguish between them, but it's, you know, that's, that's entirely me. I can see how you might. Sir, it's not helpful. Watch the house, okay? I just bought this thing. It's all paid for and everything.
Uh, nope, nope, no, nope, no, nope. no. Oh. oh god, now I have another. <laughs> another dragon nemesis. Damn it. <laughs> Reminds me of when I bought... Oh! They did it! Where is it? Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. These guys, I mean. Nemesis averted. They managed to take it out. You shouldn't use magic when you're near children. Then we are starting to make them invisible. And if you do, their mothers will hate you. She speaks wisdom there. Oh. <laughs> wow, Ansara. Nothing wrong with being alert, a, a nerd, whether you're a lunerd or just a regular nerd. Oh my god. Here you are. I've got your back. As you wish, my Thane. You've just been hanging out here the whole time. As you will, my Thane. I will protect you with my life. Right, you will. Sitting back and letting the entire adventure happen without you? My god. Okay. Um. Thanks, guys. Uh. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> huh? Hey, they're all here. Good. Okay. Ugh. Okay. We have to head back. Let's see if we can get over to the Riften area again and see if we can maybe take out some of these nemeses. Now the house is going to smell like burnt hair for days, but on the plus side, it's going to have really good roasted dinners for weeks. They're going to taste great, I'm but so no. Okay. We're going to have to see if the hilltop is occupied again. 
by the necromancers that like to spawn up there. Something's up there. Oh. Yep, somebody's there. Ah, uh, necromancer adept this time. Not you too. Oh, wait a minute. That was not Uthgird, was it? It's hard to tell because it's definitely the same voice actress. Black Soul Gem. Not bad. Well, actually, bad by definition, but I'll take it as loot. Now, if this has respawned, I wonder if maybe the bandits over that way are going to respawn, too. You have your first unpaid Look intern for your you, colony. You will make a Hopefully they will escape soon. Sorry. Come on, show me how brave you are. We are a good team, don't you think so? somebody's back. Antique steel sword, interesting. That's what they get for not joining the collective. So apparently resistance is not futile, huh? Damn it! <laughs> At least they're not likely to survive the attack by all of my followers. Literally, that is apparently a thing, Three Winters. She strips every time there's combat. I think I might be able to override that and tell her to keep her clothing on. But 
I have not really dived into the settings yet. Damn it! Okay, looks like we're coming back here then. We have a new nemesis to defeat. <laughs> I shudder to think at how many debuffs I've got piled on me right now. I suppose I probably ought to check. I squint my eyes. I see double for a moment before the world comes back into focus. I can see clearly again, but I don't recognize this place. When, bind when Bandit, Highwayman, and I exchanged blows, I knew that only one of us would come out alive. I said he saw you speaking to one of the pilgrims on the 70,000 steps. I told you that I didn't want you to go up. Oh god, we're all the way here? Dead. We have to get back to... Oh, man. I, I'm a little torn. Do we go back and deal with this newest nemesis because it's only a bandit? Or do we go and get back on the trail of some of these other ones since we're now a fair bit closer than we were? That's kind of a tough call, honestly. <laughs> I thought we were done with insanely dark nights. Apparently they're still possible. I see glowies. Ooh, wait, whoa. This is one of my spell effects. For some reason, every once in a while, one of them gets stuck. And it just never disappears. That's the second one I found. See an enemy. I do hear something.
I like the other Wisp Mother, the one that wanted to stop and talk for a while. This one's not so good. Sorry, Lydia. Okay. Hopefully we're good for a little bit now. Okay. And here we are, almost back to Fordham Mall. I think we already took care of the nemesis we had over there, though. I'm honestly not sure which mod is more chaotic, Crowd Control or Shadow of Skyrim. But I gotta say, I really like both of them. They're so much fun. Oh! the trail. There is a trail, right?
Could have sworn I was on the trail. was looking for. I knew it was a bandit. No judging, Vilya. I really need to put more points into restoration levels. Takes up way too much magic at a heal. tomb discovered. I don't think we want to go there right this moment. down on Fordham Mall as well. Who are you? Gods, another fight. <laughs> Leave her alone. Excuse me. Stone Golem? Who put that there? Think so? 
Raw troll meat, troll fat, troll skull, winter troll pelt. I wonder what uh, base model they used to make the golem. Alright guys, it looks like we've got roughly four or five minutes until I need to take my next break. I'm right behind you. See if we can get closer to Valheim Towers, or maybe even Oh, that's it right ahead. Maybe we'll even be able to take care of my nemesis. Just talk a little, you and I. Kind of a shame that it's a little bit dark here. 220 AM, huh? I would love to snipe the crap out of my nemesis. Deal with him at a distance and not even get close enough for him to murder me. I don't think it's the bandit chief, though. Hmm. Smells like garlic. Fear of dragons. Your attacks are less effective against dragons. I've really got to clear that one. Off balance. Your footing is unsure. Two-handed power attacks will knock you off your feet unless they're blocked. Shield shattered. Your shield arm is weakened. Your shield may drop when blocking. Luckily, I don't use shields, so that's really not an issue. Zalil Arrow? I know those. Now, where are these guys? Ow. Oh, interesting. Bozma reinforced cuirass, and then heroic imperial boots. Excuse me. Coming through. Make way. Huh? Can I get just just the meat? There we go. Thank you. Okay, I need to take my break. So we've got ads incoming, so if you guys will bear with me, I will be back in just a few minutes. This will be a slightly longer break than usual because I'm going to make some food. So if you need to grab something yourselves, now's a really good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in a bit.
Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh. What the hell? I do have The Witcher 3 for PS4. Oh, shoot. Nice. Not bad. I'll skin you and make a purse for my wife! <laughs> I probably should have taken advantage of that, but that was too funny. want to go home and read I know the feeling gotcha first try you fought well but we're finished How many times do I hear that a day? Nope, can't take all of us right before I take all of them. There we go. Spider Man one, robbers zero. Wait, who just did... I got him? Wow. That's amazing. Maybe archery doesn't completely suck after all. <laughs> what was that splashing noise? Where has Spunky gone? <laughs> like it might actually get you up to the elevation you need to get up onto that platform up there. Ah, you move too much. I'm hardly moving at all, silly. How's that? Nice and still for you now? Gotcha! You have to forgive Aaron, he's discovered the far future version of Spotify. <laughs> oh 
my god, that was amazing. See, I'm not the only one. The NCPD does it too. Well, that was the thing. I wish I could remember how to... Oh, that'll... That'll work. <laughs> I was trying to remember how to Spartan kick. Mind you, I haven't tried putting two in a single enclosure yet. said don't touch i warned you <laughs> ken did you hear something for those of you not aware this is the castle of daventry from king's quest it was probably just the gators entertaining another space quest Okay, I'm back. I'm also a little confused. My nemesis is still at large, as far as I can tell, at least. Thank you, Greeny. Oh, I thought you had uh, resigned not to play that for the moment. I'm really, honestly... Really glad that you're still trying to get it working, because I would really love to see you play that. A new line of fixes to try. Excellent. I will keep my fingers crossed. Bring up the Minor Knight. Yeah, I don't blame you. That is a really frustrating problem. All right, I'm thoroughly confused. Whoops. I've got your back. Thank you.
Hey, JH, how's it going? Especially after last night and multiple people trying to find fixes for me, which were all fixes you'd already tried. Yeah. That's always going to happen, though. You get used to that eventually. Maybe I actually did get rid of my nemesis? I've still got all of my debuffs, though. That's a little weird. If I had gotten rid of my nemesis, I should have lost one of them and potentially gained a buff. Huh. Very odd. Well, now we can head our, on our way back to the Riften area. <clears throat> like, having people download the same stuff and having it work for them. Oh, yikes. Yeah, that's not fun. Right, yelling at it. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to respond to yelling. I might be wrong. <laughs> That's fair, Greeny. That's fair. I will admit, I was not thinking of it in that manner. Hey, friend. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Not really day. Ah, you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Ah, nothing like fine spirits to help raise your... Well, your spirits. Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. Thank you, sir. I hope nothing finds you. I've seen systems invent new problems if you yell at them. That's true. <laughs> All right, where are we? Yeah, you know, I could have sworn my map mod was supposed to include roads. Oh, you know what? I think it actually does include roads. They're just really hard to see. They'll probably be easier once we get out of Halloween and I put different ENBs and stuff in here.
strange. Mixed water mill. <clears throat> oh, thank you, JH. That always weirds me out. on us. What effect was that, by the way? Did somebody do something... Like, it said weather ending. What did someone do? I didn't miss... I don't think I saw the message. The moon rays are nice in this. Yeah, this is a really nice E and B set. I want to experiment with other ones, though, now that I know I can play around with some of the ones that are really heavy hitting. Like, Grim is known to be one that is not good for lower powered systems. So, since I know I can use this one, I can probably play with just about any of them and see what ones I really like instead of having to go for ones that are meant for lower powered PCs. Hello? Good morning. What a nice place. Oh, I'd love to swim here for a while. The water looks really warm. What say you? I'd say there are dragons circling nearby. It might not be the best idea ever. I hope that was a rabbit or something. I'll feel bad if that was a fox. How weird. No idea. Absolutely not, Greeny. Absolutely not. Not with that guy running around. Oh, and we've got troll too. Oh, it's a cyclops, which is a derivative of troll, but still. Oh, he's regenerating health pretty quickly, too. He's going to be pretty much full health by the time he gets us. He's not going to get us. Where'd you go? There you are. Stop dodging. Oh, arm cloaks. Be back to murder you guys later. I'm 
so glad that we're traveling to Eldadin Sanctuary together. The Skyrim wilderness is so scary when you're all alone. No, I have not gone to Elder Gleam Sanctuary, at least not in this playthrough. I've been there before, of course. No, I have not gone with Vilja. This is the first time I've ever used her as a companion, or How downloaded weird. the mod, or any of that. Oh. Hello, missed what? Oh! Hey. Who are you? Never should have come here. Ah, oh, okay, come bandit. That's all you got? You will be so dead. Didn't I tell you I was good? That was Lydia, go, of course. Like trip and fall? I just figured you'd already progressed in her story by now, but somehow I was thinking you cared about her story. Well, I do. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to rush it. Good stories can take time to be drawn out. Let's be honest, though. The primary reason to take any companion along with you is so that they can carry all of your stuff. Even if they're not sworn to carry your burdens, they're still sworn to carry your burdens. Uh, oh my god, what the hell is that one? Poison shade? Don't you think so? That's a hell of a skeleton. By the way, how's it going, Bilzerb? I saw that was you. Here's the modded companion in Oblivion was, that was created with the help of author Terry Pratchett, and they did a follow-up mod companion with her descendant here in Skyrim. 
Oh, is that what that is, Greeny? I didn't realize it was supposed to be her descendant. That's really neat. I kind of like that it's two different individuals. <clears throat> yeah, I currently have three companions. I can take more, I believe. So we will eventually... You over here... Stendar's mercy, you aren't one of them. Please, you've got to help me. We will eventually get Serana too. What's going on? It's my wife, Viola. I think she's being held in this tower. I guess I was just irritated. Calm down. Just tell me what happened. I'm sorry. I just you're right. Let me explain. Viola, my wife, left the farm on errands and never came back. It's been months, and I've been searching for her since. I heard a rumor that these bandits were ransoming captives, so I thought she may be here. I managed to sneak past the guards and get this far, but I don't think I can go on. I'm no warrior. Please, can you look for her? Just trying to show the Nords where the true power lies, Greeny. Very well, I'll look for her. Thank you. I don't have much, but I can give you some coin for the trouble. One of the guards dropped this key while I hid. I wager it'll come in handy for you. Please hurry. Until you can find out whether Fiola is here, there's nothing I care to discuss. I wasn't trying to talk to you, buddy. Oh, actually, gimme. Take that. Adventurer backpack with bedroll. Was that? Is someone there? Nope. Thought I heard something. Ow. Hey, green burlap cloak there, Greeny. They have stuff for you too. do have Restoration Dual Casting, but let's get Restoration Mastery 2. I'm tired of how many points it takes to cast all my healing spells. The Old Helmet of Magicka. It's nothing.
got it. I keep wondering why I have so few lockpicks, and then I remember that when I die and I gain a new nemesis, they loot my stuff. So I never get to accumulate massive numbers of lockpicks. Very annoying. Damn it! And there we go again. Un oh! Nope! Nope! Get him! Get him! It's only two of them. You can do it. Oh, yes, like this. I'll show you a real fight. Easily blocked. No! No! Thank you, Galadry. You're a disgrace to your own kind. No! No! Oh, it took them too long. I remember this place. I've been here before. Slowly, fragments of memories coalesce and form an image of my assailant. When Mistwatch Bandit and I exchanged blows, I knew that only one of us would come out alive. Oh, it's put us back to Fordham Mall. At least it's easy to get back to Mistwatch from here. I'm right behind you. Still here. I am sworn to carry your burdens. No problem, Gallinry. It's part of Shadow of Skyrim, Mr. Soggy Raman. Oh, I see. She's still got quite a bit of the stuff that I've let her carry over the playthrough. Basically, Shadow of Skyrim makes it so that I am completely immortal. I can't Leon. technically die. Instead of dying, if I'm killed by an opponent... What do you need to take? I spawn somewhere else, and I've either, you know, um, either that's just it, I spawn somewhere else, or more often, uh, you know, that would happen if I, if I just die because, say, I fall off a cliff or do something dumb, then I will just spawn somewhere else. If I'm killed by an NPC, I will gain a nemesis, and I have to hunt them down and kill them. Because they loot my stuff Let's and go. take some of it. And because I get debuffed, and the only way to get rid of it is to kill the nemesis. Now, if I happen to be the one that actually kills the nemesis, not only do I lose the debuff, but I also gain a buff which stays with me until I lose it for whatever reason. 
usually because I've gained some other nemesis and it strips a buff away. I'm actually finding that I really, really enjoy Shadow of Skyrim because it makes death a lot more meaningful. Thanks, Bill. Thanks. I appreciate that. The Nemesis mod, maybe it'd be good if you got Sorana or Jazargo, somebody who does a lot of damage, because right now your companions are all a bit slow to kill in time to save your life. I'm not necessarily sure that it's all time dependent. I think they also kind of fail if they get drawn too far away from my body. I'm not certain of that, though. That's just kind of a vague impression that I get. They're casters, so they won't run as physically far in a chase. That's not a bad point. I've never traveled with Jizargo before. I find him kind of vaguely annoying. But I do always love having Serana around. Except for her habit of, you know, summoning all kinds of skeletons. Reanimating zombies. Scaring the crap out of me. Which means, actually, now that I think th that through... That's probably a good argument for doing it before we actually get to Halloween itself. Maybe next Skyrim stream. Well, Mr. Mitsagi Raman, have you ever seen Shadow of Mordor or Shadow of War? We are fortunate to welcome a new lore seeker to the library ranks. Thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that a lot. Welcome on in. You are now a lore seeker. There's all my stuff. I think they did manage to kill them. I just think it was too slow or too far, one or the other. Jizargo's a bit cocky, yeah, but you get a funny exchange if you're actually at 75 destruction before talking to him. Interesting, Anstara. The fixes don't work. I really don't know why this damn game won't work. Yeah, that really does suck, Greeny. Maybe keep an eye out for, like, $2 sales on uh, Fallout New Vegas. We're coming up on Black Friday and all that down in the States next month. Plus, there's probably going to be Halloween sales and things. You might be able to get New Vegas really cheap, and then you'll get two really inexpensive Fallout games that you could potentially go for. Elven Quarterstaff.
Zargo is also one of the few companions to get as close to as high as level as you can get. Yeah, interesting. I have to admit, I was not aware that companions had level limits. The lady we grabbed down by the river turned out to be a feisty one. Burbag thought he could beat some respect into her, but it looks like he used too strong a hand. Boss is not going to be happy when she hears about this. Oh, that's not good. At this point, I really don't even want any other Fallout game. That's, That's okay, though. Watching. That's okay. I can tell. If we can manage to get you Fallout New Vegas, you don't necessarily have to play in Fallout New Vegas. You can just start in Fallout 3 and play through all of that, and you'll have the option of going physically traveling over to the Fallout New Vegas area, but it is an option. You wouldn't have to do it. This place isn't only hostile. It's downright You could just play it as, as if well. it were Fallout 3. All right. Just a suggestion. My feet are killing me. Honestly, I don't blame you, Greeny. New Vegas is not my favorite, but it does make the Fallout 3 thing a hell of a lot easier to deal with. Especially now, it seems. I don't know how they managed to screw it up so badly that it works worse than it did before. I mean, at least it was possible before. It was buggy as hell, broken. Saves would corrupt and die, but you could actually, you know, start the game. Which seems to be more than you can say now. Hardware differences, I would guess. That's the whole problem of... Snowback. Who are you and what are you doing in my tower? What? Fiola. How do you know that name? Her husband sent me. Krister? He's here? Ah, uh, that's her. Why can I not turn to face her? Where is she? Uh. Yeah, but like I'm saying, Greeny, that's, uh... It, it, it's differing hardware. And drivers. I mean, that's the whole difference between consoles and PCs, right? Is you're not running the same computer that Cal and Ray or anyone else that's tried to help you is. You have your own very unique set of hardware and software combinations that make your situation different than anyone else. And because of that, there can be problems that will prevent software from working for you that pose no difficulty whatsoever to someone else. Now, another person that happens to be running the same or a very similar configuration as you may also run into it, but that's almost certainly what's going on. There's got to be something unusual going on there. Now, where is this person? That's Vilja. I finished looting this bookshelf, then we're going to try to find her. Okay. All right, Snowback. 
Who are you and what are you doing in my tower? Okay, it's her. Um... Fiola. How do you know that name? Krister? He's here? The fool's my husband. I'm Fiola. Or I was, once. Don't you see? I left that old scab. Came home to Skyrim and found this rabble of bandits. Didn't take much to prove myself and knock them into shape. Now every free blade from here to Windhelm wants to sign on for a peace. That's quite a story. And it won't end here. I'd die before I went back. What am I supposed to tell Krister? I don't know. I never expected the old bag to follow me so far. Just get rid of him. But don't kill him. I don't hate the man. I just want him to go back to his farm and forget about me. I'll try getting him to leave. Take my wedding band. Stoon only knows why I kept it this long. He'll recognize it. Tell him whatever you think will convince him to leave. The ring itself is worth a few bits. Keep it as thanks for cutting off the last vestige of an unwanted fate. Okay. Is Fallout 3 or Epic allowed through antivirus latest graphics? Yeah, that's... Uh... Let Greeny deal with the problem at his own pace. We're not going to turn this into a troubleshooting stream when there's nothing I can do to physically verify any of the procedures, and Greeny's already gone through a hell of a lot trying to get it to work and tried just about everything we could possibly think of. Okay, I probably don't want to jump down there, huh? Yeah, I'm thinking that would be a bad idea. Guess I'm just being silly. Yeah, that looks even worse. All right. Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition is actually free on Epic. Krister. I think I'm going to need my journal for that. Turn to Krister. I thought I heard footsteps. Be careful. Uh, I'm pretty sure we already cleared this place out pretty thoroughly, actually. Oh no, Q. I'm sorry to hear that. That's, uh, yeah. I've never had a dose quite that close, but occasionally I get skunks in the neighborhood that spray. And I tend to keep my window open a lot, so... You would not believe the number of streams that I've had where I... basically spent the entire stream smelling a lesser version of that. I'm still here.
Still, yeah. I'm so sure. We already cleared your extra storage out. As you wish. Let me fill that back up again for you. That's better. What news? Why isn't Fiona with you? He's dead, but I found this. That gave it to her on our wedding day. Help me, Divines. It's true, isn't it? I'm sorry. Keep the ring. I cannot bear the weight of them in my heart. And I must make the journey alone now. Thank you for... Thank you. I will find you, Fiola. Let's get going. Oh, we actually have to report back to her? At least it looks like she's maybe come back down he here. Oh, it's you. I didn't think you could handle this on your own. Did you get rid of Christer? He won't bother you again. How did... No, forget it. I don't care to know. I'm free of the little man and that's what matters. I owe you a debt and I aim to repay it. We'll see each other again someday. For now, goodbye and thanks. Okay. Let's get out of here. I didn't actually mean to do this place anyway. But we did, so... There we are. I'm going to find whoever did this. Can't cover the underside of a trailer with it. Oh man, uh, how do you... <laughs> Welcome on in, but what do you like to be called? I have no idea how to pronounce that. All right. Um... Track down the conjurer. North Wind Summit. Ah, it was the Spriggan we were going for. I think I played 12 hours of Skyrim today. Nice. <laughs> yep, I have to agree, Greeny. It's a little bit of a different quest, though, which is always fun. Oh. Um... That looks a little awkward. How do I get through there? I'm gonna quick save and we're gonna try and get through and hope that the giant doesn't take that as hostile. So far so good. I don't know what that body is there.
Come on. Come on. progress there we go come on we've stopped what is it well terrain navigation issue nothing serious okay Watching me. And you will make a lot of hell. Oh. Okay, there's a road right here. I probably could have used that instead, but that wouldn't have been nearly as fun, would it? Uh well. Got all the stones of Baron Zaya, worked up my smithing, helped those couples, three couples, find love, got married myself, adopted two kids, and sent them to live with my husband at Bloodchill Manor, busted up a skooma ring, and became Thane of Riften, and killed a lot of things along the way. Very cool. Feel like chasing it. <clears throat> Do you know what to buy an amulet of Mara? An amulet of Mara? I'm surprised someone like you isn't spoken for. No, I'm only interested in its magical effects. <laughs> Indeed. I'm serious. I really cannot see anything romantic in wearing an amulet as some kind of advertisement. Maybe I don't fit in in Skyrim. Because to me marriage should be about love. Real love. And you don't fall in love with someone because of an amulet. That's right. Real love is about friendship and trust. To learn to know a person. And one day realize that this person actually means the world. Oh no. <laughs> uh, well, on the plus side, I got my stuff back. On th oh. Interesting. Oh, interesting Don't indeed. Do you feel that you would like to be really close to someone? To share your mind and soul with someone? Did it. Debuff removed, shield shattered. Ah. I heard about that. I saw you talking about it on the Discord, Greeny. That is a hell of a thing, I've got to say. Okay, so that's one nemesis down. I just played all day like a nut job. I'm no speedrunner. I, yeah, I can't even imagine. I mean, what level were they? How did they get powerful enough to beat the last bit of the game in just half an hour? That's ludicrous. I can't even conceive of how that's possible. Uh, Conjurer who almost killed you, and I think that's nearby too. 
Pencil bund. Hey, Nabby. No, I'm no speedrunner. I have zero interest in completing games as fast as possible. I always want them to last as long as possible. This is why it takes me 3,000 hours to beat Fallout 4 three times or four times. We are a good team. Don't you think so? Track down the conjurer who almost killed you. Oh, I think I remember. Oop. What? Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Nabby. I remember this conjurer. This was just earlier this evening. Speaking of, let's quick save. Hey, Haggis. New speedrun category, Gord Core, must always be over-encumbered. Hey, I'm not over-encumbered right now. I will have you know. And this in spite of the fact that I just recovered one of my old backpacks containing stuff and things and more stuff. And somehow, I can still carry it. Ash. Oh, I'm so glad I improved my heal ability. Damn it, Aranor. Thanks, guys. Oh, and she had a whole bunch of my other stuff that I lost. Huh? Debuff removed, off balance. Free range shower, it's sneaky core. Nah, miss well, I'm sure actually a lot of people would go for that one, Mr. Soggy Roman. I, I can't let you do this scary. too easily, wow. Vilya, where are you? That's the opposite of wearing your armor, Vilya. I'm just saying. Sure. Sure. Maybe I should give her some armor.
Can we check your gear? Sure. Oh, wait, no, that's... I equipped something there, didn't I? She likes it cold. Uh, apparently she does. Does this have Twitch integration? Yes, it does, Mr. Soggy Roman. It's got crowd control. Necromancer Hood of Magicka, Necromancer Robes of Quickening. Ooh, I like that hood. Increase Magicka by 30 points. Oh, it does the same as the Novice Hood. <laughs> Let me guess. I have three winters to thank for that. Okay, what's next? I think I might be down to one active. Yeah. One active nemesis, and unfortunately, it's the mechanical dragon that we were unable to find earlier. How are things going, by the way, Aaron Laura? I hope you're doing all right tonight. I'm a little bit late for my last break. I should probably go take that now. We'll maybe take another stab at finding that dragon when I get back. So let me just kill the audio here. And I'll be back in just a few minutes. So if you guys need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a really good time to do that. Yes, literal cheese, Nabi. It makes cheese wheels explode out of you and it actually legit causes damage One moment please we have a new lore seeker in the channel thanks for the follow thank you so much for the follow i really appreciate that just closing in on 100 hours in crusader kings 3 and conquering sweden for the second time hopefully this time i get to make me a good empire that's awesome jh oh, excuse me i'll be back in just a few Wait. Can I not fly it? Welcome aboard, yada, 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 yada. Look, you may be our captain, but I don't have to like it. What? What? Please give a warm welcome to our new captain. They forced their way onto our ship and into our hearts. <laughs> What? This is not at all what I was expecting. <laughs> what the? This is a whole new area to explore.
There you are. What? Ruined. That was a perfectly lined up shot. <laughs> they are just absolutely shredding everything that I don't get myself. This, this, this is working for me. Oh my god. Now would be a real good time to prove me right, guys. Wow. I'd really rather not revive him. You're okay. Oh! <laughs> that was not Bembe. Oops. <laughs> I'm very sorry for attaching a number of mines directly to your body. All right, guys, you ready? Nice. Fuck! What? <laughs> wow. These guys have been doing strength training with the uh, compies, I see. Oh crap! I forgot! <laughs> Whoops. Uh realize that when we went to Winterhold and I finally got my room at the college and I what the hell is <laughs> That's so cool. No any good postal jokes? Oh, you bet I do. Why are postal workers such great comedians? They have a special delivery, huh? <laughs> so I'm kind of controlling or attempting is uh, it's. Okay, I'm back. Aaron Laura, the power went pretty well. I mean, it was annoying and I didn't sleep very well, but it was good. Nothing went terribly terribly wrong um i had everything shut down so i was prepared mr soggy ramen what was it you had asked so you're saying we should wait till you're almost dead to do the cheese explosion yes and no it will not become my nemesis Thank you, Greeny. Thank you, Mr. Soggy Roman. Thank you, Aaron, Lauren, J.H., and Three Winters, and everybody. All right. Uh, what were we going to do next? Oh. Great. Great. Thank you. Have your attention for a moment. A multi year subscriber has just resubbed again. Allow me to welcome you back. Thank you so much for the resub. So. Amish, how's it going? It's good to see you. Where'd everybody go? Oh, 
Uh oh. Ah, uh, there you are. What do a tick and the Eiffel Tower have in common? They're both Paris sites. I like that one. <laughs> the dwarves send their regards. Thank you, Anstara. Oh, man. Okay. Retrace your steps to where you almost died. Uh, all right, where was that? Wait, is it? Hang on. Track down dwarven mechanical dragon. Okay, right. So that's up that away. Oh, Greeny, thank you. I really appreciate that. I mean, I appreciate the bits. Time will tell if I appreciate what you do with the coins. <laughs> Is it, Mr. Soggy Ramen? That's awesome. Which day? No, I'm not at all sure of that. I can only go based on the information that I have right now. As I get more information about your plans for those coins, uh, I may have different sentiments to express. Uh oh. I'm hearing weird stuff. Oh, I recognize this. This is not where I want to be. There's a cave here. A perfect hideout for bandits, or worse. Uh. Whoa! Oh. Just a bear. Now you've got me. Oh my god, what is with the weather? You got me all paranoid about every fight that I come up with. Ah, uh, Thursday, very nice. Remember to remind me and I will say something in chat. Well, that's the question of the hour, Greeny. I went looking for it earlier, and I reached the spot where it's supposed to be, but I couldn't actually find it. So, your guess is as good as mine. Oh, thank you, Winters. <clears throat> Actually, I should clarify. I reached a spot very close to where you're supposed to go to find it. I couldn't quite reach it because it was up on a sheer rock face and I wasn't able to climb it. So I couldn't reach the specific spot, but I got to within a few what feet and it was clearly visible. I think this is, if I remember correctly, the wrong path to get there. Oh. Uh, 
So, what's up with the continuing battle music? Is it just ending? Might be just ending. I said say something. In fact, it would be appropriate to say that not singing happy birthday is an excellent birthday gift to give to you. Because nobody wants to hear that. Oh, I wouldn't expect you to know. I would expect you not to know. I would be deeply concerned if you did know. I fully expect there are people who think they want to hear it. But... Oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, God. Not the mud crabs again. I can't see. Sorry. What the heck is that? It's like a king mud crab, that's fun. So oh god. I'm not afraid of you. That's the best you can it's kinda sounding like I might have better luck finding my dragon. What the hell? That is not my dragon. That's a crystal dragon, what the hell? Oh god, oh. Oh, that was so close. Good night, Unstara. I'm so... Oh my god, there are two of them. And is your dragon... Oh, jeez. Did you guys spawn the dragons? Did I just give up and go home or something? Oh my god. I will say, oh my god, the crystal dragon looks incredibly impressive.
Ugh. That's the idea. Ugh. That's one down. Come on, I think it's three dragons, not two, but I might be wrong about that. No, I don't think I get a soul from that one. Don't you You'll die this day, dragon. Slay it. Slay the dragon. Get back here. I am not done with you. Strange. Damn it. <sighs> Definitely diverse dragons mod. No, not uh, Creation Club. Not that one. I have the Diverse Dragons mod, which adds a lot of fancy stuff, including the uh, Mechanical Dragon. I have fought a Mechanical Dragon before. There was one notable example of a Mechanical Dwarven Dragon in one of my charity Skyrim screen streams a few years ago. It's so sad with all the hatred between the Forsworn and the rest of the Skyrim inhabitants. I'm actually a little annoyed I didn't get to kill the crystal dragon. Okay, uh, Vilya. Yes? Let me look in your extra storage. Sure. As you wish. Oh, no, I don't want to take that stuff. I want to give you stuff. Sure. All right. Okay. Oh, have I actually gotten to the point where I can't give her anything? Here, you can have that. Shall we continue? Oh, shoot. Uh, who was next in line? Uthgird. Let's get going. Not yet. What do you need to take? Yeah, right. That'll do. Let's go. Ah. Sorry. There we, we go. We did well, don't you think so? Holy darkness! Honestly, it was... Oh, my God. Thank you, Winters. It was fun to do, too. 
it's not often you get to fight two dragons at once in Skyrim. It can happen naturally, but it's pretty rare. Now, he's supposed to be somewhere up here. Like, I think the point that I reached was basically on top of that rock. But these things are the only things I actually found. No sign of any actual mechanical dwarven dragon, sadly enough. sudden change today actually dazed me a little. Uh, no, I don't think so. If it's rare to encounter dragons in pairs, it's even more rare to find them underground. The only example I can think of offhand is the skeletal dragon that you meet during one of the quests. I mean, there may be others, but that's the only one I know about. Yeah, so we might have to wait on that one, unfortunately. Which means we need something else to work on. Although, I'm just noticing the time here. Getting back home is probably a valid quest point at this point. Like a quest marker. I didn't know about the one in Blackreach, that's interesting. But I guess Blackreach is a big enough area that they can get away with it. I would guess, if I had to guess, that the problem with underground dragons in Skyrim is that so many of the dragons' attacks and animations and things require a large amount of room. Strange. That they can probably pull off in Blackreach, but not in a lot of other cave systems. Oh, it has to be summoned. Okay. Yeah, I don't believe I was... Have you seen those cages? I don't think I was uh, attempting to actually finish Black Reach as such. I was just happy to have gotten there at all, because that was the very first time I'd ever been there. Maybe we'll do more with it this time. Depending on how long this particular playthrough goes. And I think that's going to have a lot to do with, uh, you know, exactly when in 2023 they decide to release Starfield. I think Blackreach is actually classed as an outside cell. Yeah, well, it's big enough that they could get away with doing that, for that's for sure. And afterwards, it gets so rusty. The vertical bit of Blackreach makes it outside, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense to me.
You could always try and get all of the crimson nern root. I'm I, I think I'm good. I don't know that I need to go after all the crimson nern root. I will happily pick up any and all crimson nern root that I happen to come across. I don't think I'm gonna make a point Hello of there. attempting to get all of it. Ow. You must admit that I'm not bad. Was not expecting that. It always it looks like I always imagine literary depictions of dwarven kingdoms and cities and such, and oh, also drow cities. Yeah, actually, oh, I'm sorry. I had kind of the same reaction to it. More the drow than the dwarven, I think. In my case, oh my god. I didn't think I was going to be dropping down onto the towers. I always kind of imagined that dwarven cities were more like complex networks of tunnels in the ground, not so much actual what cities in massive caverns. But I like both conceptions quite a bit. Since I was robbed of my crystal dragon victory, I'm kind of thinking maybe we go for this guy. After a quick save. Getting all of it gives a perk that doubles potion and crafting and poison crafting. Super useful for anyone who isn't you. Hey, I like the crafting stuff. I just don't do much of it. Or at least I haven't yet. That doesn't mean I never will. I will collect all the ingredients and components because one day, in one or another playthrough, I will actually get to do some of it. And what the hell is that sound? Hey, gotcha. Of A vile dragon. Maybe I should have waited till the dragon killed these things. This is actually quite fun. Excuse me. There's a description of a dwarven citadel in Dragonlance with a giant stalactite over a massive underground sea where the Rudlin clan lived and the other clans on the shores of the edges of the sea. Oh, man, I had forgotten all about that, Greeny. That is incredible.
Not bad. That road makes me look like a house. Okay. So, I guess... Oh. Another death naga. Great. We're probably not very far from the Elder Gleam Sanctuary. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it's in there somewhere. But I don't really want to do that just yet. One step below a bottle dragon, two before below a jug dragon. Wow. Now I can create a new empire, but I might want to be greedy, but do I dare? Why would you not dare? More kingdoms. My king is getting old and might die before I realize my dreams. What's your succession law? Is your king dying may or may not be a problem, depending on your succession law. You need the immortality mod. I'm still tribal, so Confider partition. Oh, and you do have more than one heir. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's likely to be an issue then. Aren't you horribly afraid of those vampires? I am. We've barely encountered any, Vilya. It's fine. Don't worry about them. Um have you got enough lock picks? No. Else maybe I can make it. Actually that's a good point. How many lock picks do I have? Oh, I've got sixteen. So I guess some of my other stuff. Enough. And a forge, of course. Some of my other inventories that I've recovered might have had some lock picks in them. Three to be exact, so they'll get all my three different kingdoms. Yeah. That could be a bit of a pain. Brandy and Comberry wine. Not apparently, Greeny, apparently. And that is a good point. It would be really fun. Her interactions so far with Uthgird and Lydia have been really fun. So it would be really nice to see what she has to do with Serana. I think that's what we're going to make a point of doing next time I stream this, which should be next Saturday, if I'm not mistaken, uh, for a spooky Skyrim Saturday. We will do more of this, and we will make a point of trying to track down Serana, which might be interesting with the whole Nemesis I thing. Don't. We'll have to see how that goes. Just one more war. Succession law is that before the king dies, a pact is made with a demon that allows him to I siphon the youth from his lessers at a 10 to 1 trade of. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a mod for that, Mr. Sagi Roman. That consists of five different wars. It's nice to have a big army. That's awesome. It kind of worries me to kill a whole Spriggan for one little taproot. After all, they do look human. Well, mostly. Yeah, but they're evil humans. Hmm. Need to practice more. You and me both. Alright, I could try walking all the way back at this speed. I don't think I can give enough stuff. 
Lydia was already full from before, so it's good we recovered her, because she's got my inventory stuff. Uthgird, Let's can I give going. you... I think I've already basically filled your inventory too, what haven't you I? To take? Nope, maybe not. Maybe we're in luck. I don't have to give up that much to get back into moving at full speed. Oh, Uthgird was where all my storage space went. Okay, that'll do. Thank you, Uthgird. Lead on then. That's better. I'm beginning to think the Vatican and the HRE are impossible oh, to topple. I've lost count of how many murders my queen has committed. It might be easier to try and take it over by other means. Instead of toppling them, get in from the uh, from the inside, rise to power, and then control it that way. That's the traditional way, anyway. You shouldn't use magic when you're near children. They will just ask you to make them invisible. And if you do, their mothers will hate you. He raises a good point there. Before I came here, I thought I was nuts. Of course, I've talked to myself. The Papal States are impossible. The HRE likely has too long of a chain of air since it'll go backwards in generations to find one. I will have to try that. Murder work to break up the Persian Empire. I don't know if I <laughs> like this. Am I talking too much? Just tell me if you want me to keep quiet. Is that actually an option? I would feel kind of bad, but she does speak up a lot. Let's see what the options are. Yes? Fighting strategy, do me a favor regarding your outfit. Tell me, what do you want? Crafting. Read a book. Oh, man. We have to do that at some point. I need her to read a book. Make a potion. Interesting. Play some music. Make a torch. Nothing about speech frequency. All right. Maybe I'll read up on her capabilities off stream for next stream. That's a lot of options, Grogu. It's good to see you, by the way. How are you doing tonight? All I need is for everyone on Earth to give me one second of their life, and I would have 253 more years, and if everyone born gave me a second too, I would gain five years every year. You know what book she needs to read. That would be hilarious. I would love to get stats on the most frequently requested books for Vilya to read. That's good to hear, Grogu. I'm kind of the same. I didn't sleep terribly well last night because of uh, the power thing. I mean, it wasn't bad. I went to bed ridiculously early again, and I got up not as early as I thought, partly because the, the first few hours while the power was out, it was weird, and so I didn't sleep great. I didn't... It's not like I didn't sleep. I did sleep, but it was not as restful. So I'm hoping I'll sleep a lot better tonight. Is 
Circadian rhythm hits me hard around this time of year. Yeah, I get that. There we go. Wanted to see if I could lob one right in through the window. Time change for those of us with daylight savings is coming soon. God, I hope we get rid of that someday. Not for my sake. The time change never affects me for longer than maybe five minutes. But I know it's a nightmare for a lot of people. And the part that does affect me is occasionally having to drive on roads driven by people who are affected by it. Sleep is for the weak. You need to modify your xenogerms. <laughs> well, of course sleep is for the weak, Mr. Soggy Roman. It's how the weak get strong again. I swear, make, I'm not trying to murder you. Much. Y'all know why it was created, right? It was, um... I know the general gist of it. It's been a while since I've read about it. It was an, kind of an offshoot of the railway and the need to keep schedules. And so they needed a way to track time and account for long distances and things like that. You there, uh, citizen. This area is off limits. You're interfering with imperial business. Yeah, so you'll have to pay us a fine. Say, a hundred gold. Pay up, citizen. You can have it if you can take it from me. If you insist. Come on, boys. This'll be fun. Now, you I get a bad time. <laughs> Huh, I think you're bleeding. Victory is yours. I submit. I'll kill you. I'll kill you if I come on. Let's see you put up a fight. You will be so dead. I submit. You are as good as dead. Well, I tried to spare her. Didn't work, but I tried. I gotta give her some credit. She was really resistant to my fire magic. Six wars declared? There's talk that Australia may drop daylight savings. My state doesn't do it anyway. Because they wanted farmers to well farm more in the day, so they modified the working hours for farmers during the daytime, and yes, trains in that too. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me, honestly. I'm sure there was a whole, like, list of reasons they had for doing it, and none of them were very good reasons. I mean, I'm sure it worked well enough at the time, but I, it just bothers me so much that... They've never really re-examined it and said, you know what, it's really not necessary anymore. You do not have daylight savings? I am very jealous, Jessica. Oh, thank you for the shout-out, Aaronar. Can we also get one for Greeny? Greeny's been hanging out here a while tonight, and I don't believe we shouted him out at all. Boop, boop, da, da.
I often skip the armor and stuff, Mr. Soggy Roman. Especially if I have duplicates of it. Thank you, Aranor. I appreciate that. Okay, no dragons hanging around. I'm here lurking, doing my writings and listening to the chaos of the stream. There's been plenty of that. what I can do here. I wonder what your Oscar would look like if Tilma didn't keep the place nice and tidy. I guess it's beyond imagination. Never really looked here. I can make an Imperial officer's helmet? Huh. I'm right behind you. Okay, well. So we have a dog now. Okay, fair. Or at least a dog exists here. Yeah, Stupid Jessica's dog. a real big fan of ESO. Maybe one day. I'm I'm open to the possibility of giving it a try. But for now, I think we're gonna save here and go and find somebody awesome to raid. It is getting to be about that time. Okay, guys. Let me get my awesome list of awesome folks. Also shut down um, crowd control. Furnished three little homes so far, already planning on the next one. Very nice. Uh, thank you, JH. I was an ESO player like you, but I took an apathy to the me. Nice. Alright, it looks like we've got Laxative Legacy playing some Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Bunny Tokyo is playing A Plague Tale Requiem, which is the sequel to the one I'm playing, so I'm gonna probably try and avoid that a little bit for spoiler reasons. Um, who else? There's actually a surprising number of people on right now. Not so many that we know, though. Simcopter is playing retro. He's doing some roller coaster tycoon, the final map, apparently. 
he with Mandy is uh oh it looks like she's done with what was the name of the game that she was playing Madison she's on to a game called Observer now which I've heard really good things about and what if Julie is playing Visage and that's about it for this evening so if you guys have any particular preference with regards to the game or the stream that we play just let me know Observer's an awesome cyberpunk game, and Mandy's an awesome streamer. Oh, is it Palette's anniversary? He's doing just chatting, though. I don't like rating just chatting streams as a rule. But it is his four-year anniversary. I, I do tend to avoid sports, sports cards, Mr. Soggy Roman. Yes. Hmm. What do you guys think? I I I noticed Palette was doing just chatting, so I kind of skipped over him in the list, but it is his anniversary stream. Let's do it. Let's go. I, I it's not often I raid just chatting, but it, it happens occasionally. Let's um let's do that. I'll load up his stream and see what's going on. I do have a little bit of an ad to sit through, but it's not too long one. So uh, it should be good in a moment. Yeah, okay. It looks like he is actively streaming. He's not on some video break or something that I can tell. Going over old clips of his own? That's cool. Okay. You think sleep. I will probably be sleeping before too long myself, actually. All right, guys, let me get you his link. That's not Palette's link, bot. What the hell? Okay, let me type that out for you. There we go. And I'll get you the raid comb. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and wave emote of the channel if you are an, a sub. If you're not a sub, you can feel free to use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emotes of the channel. Now, whether you're sub or non-sub, I do always encourage you to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for raids. So if you have emotes of your own or maybe emotes from another streamer, emotes from Twitch themselves that you would like to use, just copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Palette Stream and wish him a happy four-year anniversary. I just celebrated my own anniversary very recently, so it's uh, always good to spread the love. And uh, yeah, so I will be back tomorrow night. What is tomorrow? Sunday? So if I remember correctly from my schedule, we will be doing more RimWorld tomorrow, which is going to be interesting because there's still a lot of mods that are not working, and that's going to be true for a number of days, maybe weeks, with the whole 1.4 update and biotech expansion that have just released. But there are a lot more mods now than there were even two days ago, so or last night. So it, it just released yesterday. So it's going to be really interesting to see what the game is like. So I can't wait to try that out. So let's get over to Palettes, and I'll see you back here hopefully tomorrow night for some Rim World action. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I'll catch you again real soon. Thank you so much for making this a really awesome and fun and unbelievably chaotic stream. Bye for now. Nominal. Oh, and look at this. I'm coming up right on a shrine. That's really Andy. Ah, oh my... Wow. Oh, maybe it'll come here. Okay, more locally to you then. Yeah, I... Ooh. Whoops. Thanks, Auto Drive. Back. Come on.
the disc. No, watch the. No, watch. No. Oh, oh, good. 